frankly, I think gun violence prevention is important to young Americans generally. Most of us are under the assumption that it's not a question of if gun violence will play a role in our lives in some way, but when. And gun violence looks a lot of different ways. It looks like community violence and mass shooting, but it also looks like domestic violence. It looks like police violence. It looks like suicide and hate crimes and accidental shootings. I'm Katherine Fleischer, I'm 22 years old, and I am the founder and executive director of Not My Generation. I first got involved in gun violence prevention when I was 16 through an organization called NIFTI, the North American Federation Temple Youth, which is the Reformed Jewish Youth Movement, really opened my eyes to this whole world that at that time in my life I simply wasn't aware of. And unfortunately, also, as life went on, it felt like the gun violence epidemic came closer and closer to home. And then while I was a sophomore at the University of Pittsburgh, the Tree of Life shooting happened, and that was a really traumatic and horrifying experience. In the wake of that, the only thing that, that made sense to me was organizing. And so I decided to do everything I could to do something about this epidemic. Hey. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> it's crazy to think that just two years ago, uh, Not My Generation was myself and a document. And now we have over 40 individuals on our national team across the country. Today, we are going to be doing some strategy and long-term visioning, thinking about what long-term benchmarks we want to be hitting. I want to do kind of an activity. Because everyone is going to take post-it notes. Orange is what you're going to be putting your goals on. And we live in a society where people are more likely to face homelessness and food insecurity and rising rates of depression and anxiety, lack of access to healthcare and mental health care. You create an environment where people don't know where to turn. When there are more guns than people and you live in a society like that, gun violence is nearly inevitable. To rectify that, we have to not only take guns off of the street, but to provide, to provide healthcare, to provide social security nets, to, to provide alternative options for people so that violence is not what we fall back on. We could develop ways to do thorough and deliberate outreach and cater to different socioeconomic backgrounds by doing compensation and mutual aid. Not My Generation fills a different kind of void in the gun violence prevention movement. We focus on gun violence as an issue that is connected to and fed by other types of injustice. And so we especially look really critically at the role of police and prisons uh, in gun violence prevention. One of the big things we recently put out that we're really proud of uh, is a policy playbook called Depolicing the Gun Violence Prevention Movement. And that's a policy playbook that we developed in partnership with community-based organizations across the country. We did research on various pillars of community safety and different best practices, the way that different cities are approaching public safety, the way that different cities are removing police and prisons from their equations of public safety. And then my final goal is really try to empirically see if we can reduce gun violence and do target cities and try to build a model that'll sort of correlate our effect. I think when we talk about the future of gun violence, it's really easy to say, I want to see background checks. I want to see assault weapons bans. I want to see universal availability of extreme risk protection orders. And all of those things are vital and they're necessary and I want to see them too. But I think that we have to think bigger than that. I would like to see a complete reframing of what safety means. That we don't feel like we have to build our communities around punishment and fear. I really believe that young people are going to change the world. We can collectively move forward towards a different kind of justice, a different kind of safety, a different kind of what being in a community really means.